the seven heavens. You ever heard the old folks talk about that when you die, some people will, will get a get a seat in the lower level heaven and some people get a seat in the higher level heaven. Well, I want you to understand what they are referring to. Seven kingdoms here. Now, I want you to know uh, you ever you heard about the judgment when you are judged. No one judges you. You judge yourself according to your internal makeup. Your internal makeup decides which world, which kingdom you reside in. Now, take a look at the picture that I put at the bottom here. You notice what I have placed here is a picture of uh, different densities. I'm sure everyone has done the water and oil thing where you put water and oil in a cup and you will notice that they will separate. Um, one will float to the top, whereas the other one will float to the bottom. What is this phenomenon? This phenomenon is created by density, but I want you to know that it works the same way on a larger scale. Gravity is a falsehood. Gravity is an illusion. If you ask modern scientists what gravity is, they won't have an answer for you. And I'm telling you what gravity is. Gravity is simply density. Now, You've all seen the rainbow. The rainbow exemplifies to us the different seven frequencies that one could have in this realm, in this dimension. Seven different frequencies. Okay. And so you find, again, the seven heavens, the seven visible planets, the seven continents. So there's seven continents you could reside on, seven planets, seven different frequencies. At present, we are in the middle. You know, the rainbow is Roy G. Biv, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. We are on the green, the middle. We are directly in the middle. But you have a higher self and a lower self or a higher frequency and a lower frequency. OK, now. What I really want to stress to you is the importance of lightening up, lightening up. Density is determined by volume and they call it volume for a reason. I hope y'all remember me talking about how the squeaky wheel gets the oil. If one increases his volume, he decreases his density and he is able to float. You've heard about uh, the ancient Egyptians speaking about um, your heart being weighed in the scale and weighed up against a feather. And if your heart is, is heavier than a feather, then you have to re return or be reincarnated. And so, too, uh, what, what they're basically exemplifying through that is that uh, the denser you are, excuse me, the less dense you are, the more you float up, float up in worlds, float up in frequency. Now, let's go a little bit deeper. <clears throat> I want you to realize how your thoughts, feelings, uh, and your internal world determines where you go in your external world. In the same way that if you look at this picture before you, the ping pong ball at the top. What allowed the ping pong ball to be at the top hmm? instead of down there at the bottom with the boat? And the answer to that question is the internal makeup of the ping pong ball matches matches the density of the lamp oil. And so I want you to know that you have to match internally the world you want to inhabit externally. Whatever you dwell on, you will dwell in. As I spoke about